Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a record label demo submission system. This runs on autopilot and will keep you super organized and it will just continue to run. First things first, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It really helps the growth and it helps me put out new videos because I can tell what people like. You will need a make.com account. This is what I'm looking at here. Make.com is for automation. You can automate anything, any software you use or external APIs, whatever it may be, you can automate. It's really great. So I can left the link below, um, you can sign up. And then you'll need Google Forms and Google Drive. If you haven't got that already, most people have a Gmail, I would assume. So everyone has got access to Forms. Forms is forms.google.com. Drive is drive.google.com. And both of them will talk to each other. So I've got four modules set up here. I've got Google Forms, Google Drive, and Airtable. You can use Google Sheets, it's up to you, but I like Airtable just because it's quite robust and Google Sheets um, sometimes a little bit chaotic. Airtable acts a bit more like a database. In Google Forms, I've set up a very basic template. You can do whatever you wish, but the most important things are if an artist is sending you a demo, you need their email address, you need their artist name, you may need a link to Spotify artists, um, depending if they're big or you know known. It just helps you understand their social proof and if they've had releases before in the past. And then you need a upload track box. So these are super simple. Here is just an email address. This is just a short form answer. This is just a short form answer. And this is just a upload and I've limited to audio only you know someone will try and send you a spreadsheet by accident or a PDF. So if you just limit them to audio, they can only send a WAV, MP3 or a FLAC, I assume. Um, so going back to make, I am watching the responses to the form. And this is really easy to set up. In make, you add a module and here you will search for forms and you will see Google Forms here and it will show you a module and it will show you absolutely everything you can do. So all I'm doing here is watching responses. So this is someone like an artist submitting to your form, make or watch the response and it will do something with that response. You can do a lot, as you can see, you can update anything, update the form, move things around. But for now, all we wanna do is just watch the responses coming in. To keep you really organized, Creating a folder is desirable. So every time an artist submits, it creates a new folder for that artist. It moves their music into that folder and it will create a record entry in Airtable. So to create a folder, it looks like this. So I've set up my Google Drive and all I'm doing is choosing the create a folder option in Drive. I'll just show you. Uh, where are we here? Uh, create file from text, create a folder here. So I'm choosing this one. The new folder's name, I have called it artist and their email address. Really easy. You know what artists are like. They will send you something which is completely unfindable on your drive. It will be called something new demo one and that will be it. Um, so at least if you called a folder the correct artist name what they submit and you move their music to that if they've called it a random file name like artists like to do it will at least be in the right folder for you so i'm creating this folder here and this is just using the entries which come in from google forms so it's taken the artist name you can see it's pulsating here on the left and it's taken their email address. You can add whatever you like into this. So you can link to their Spotify artist if you want and the folder name is up to you. Um, so here I've just got respondent email, which is me and the artist name, which is me. And it will call that drive. I'll show you later. And then what I'm doing, I'm grabbing the music they've uploaded from the form and I'm moving it into that folder. And this is really simple as well. So I'm grabbing the file ID and the file ID is what comes in from here. If we have a look at my data, this is everything that is available to you. It's a bit uh, long winded, so bear with me one second. 
So I've already done a test one here, and this is the data which I've got available. So my respondent email was testing at pete.com. And then you can see here, here is my file upload. I uploaded something called epic 150 BPM G sharp, and uh, the file name is Pete Callahan. So this is the data I've got to play with. Whatever you have on your forms will be what you have available to you. So just bear that in mind and things may look different to mine. So what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing the file which has been uploaded, which I just showed you here, and I'm moving it to the folder I've just created. If you don't see the folder ID available, you need to press the map button. And what map does, it will allow you to map from one thing to another. So sometimes you can just choose a new folder location. Say you want something always in, I don't know, demos, for example, and it never changes, that's fine. You don't have to map that, it just creates the folder for you. But I want to map to something I've already created. So here I create a folder and I'm mapping to that folder ID. And then I'm taking this file ID from here and I'm moving it to the folder I just created. So someone submits, make watches it, it creates a new folder, which is called the artist's name and their email address. And then here it grabs the audio from here and it moves it to here. And so everything is consolidated into one place. And now here I'm just updating a record in Airtable. I've not showed you this yet. In Airtable, it works like a database, but a spreadsheet is very user friendly compared with something like a proper database. You can set it up, you can use a free account. Um, there's no charge for it. I've got a couple of columns. I've got artist name, email, Spotify artist, link to track, demo status, respondent ID and submission date. So artist name is obviously artist name. Email is what they provided to you on the Google form. Spotify artist is what they provided. Link to track, this will be a bit different, I'll show you. Demo status, every new demo coming in will be new. Respondent, sorry, response ID, this will be from the Google Sheet um, and it will take the record and then the submission date, obviously the date they submit. If I go back to make here, I am creating a record. So what I'm doing, I'm grabbing all of this data, which is coming on these modules and I'm creating a record. So I've set up my connection. You'll have to use an Airtable token. They've now depreciated um, API keys and they give you tokens instead. So add your Airtable account and it will ask you to create a token. Then you have to give access to that base in Airtable and it will allow you to use it here. So you can see here my base is example records demo submission. And the table is called demos. Just to show you here, this is what it's viewing here. So this is the table. You can create as many tables as you wish and call them different names and do different things. But for now, this one is just called demos. Down here is my artist name, email, spotty, demo status, response ID, submission date. And as before, I've taken the previous values from the form and I've added them to here. So every time someone creates a new form submission, it will create a new Airtable record. So I've taken this here. So in artist name, I take the artist name from the form. Email, I take the email. Spotify artists, as you guessed it, from the form. What I'm doing differently here is I'm typing in new. So in demo status, I've got this one set up and I'll show you the field I've got. So I've got a single select type of column and all this is is a drop down. So you can choose new, accepted, considering, refused. Every new demo coming in, it automatically defaults it to new, as in it's going to be a new demo for you to look at. And that's here. You can type that in and it will just map it automatically. Response ID is taken from the form. If we look up here, you can see response ID in the bundle. And the bundle is just a piece of information. When you have incoming data, it will be bundled up. That's all that means. So you've got response ID here, which I am mapping. You don't have to use this, but it helps you to, you know, make less mistakes. And then the submission date. In Airtable, this here is just set up as a date 
field. So you can see here, and it's selected as date, and it's just local. To do that, you create a new thing, and you type in date, and you can choose it here. So you can choose any type of record as you like, and then update it as you wish. So this one will be date. And then link to track. All I'm doing here is I am taking the link I created. So when I move my track into Google Drive, I am using that link. So you can see everything you have available here. And I'm using web view link. If you're signed in, it means you can automatically go back to that Google Drive. So I'm going to submit something now and I'll show you how it works. Let me move my face. And we will call this one tutorial at pete.com. So this is going to be my artist email address and I'll call myself tutorial DJ link to Spotify artists. And we'll just call this one spotify.com. And I'm going to add a track. So I've got a track here. Hopefully I can just drag and drop. No, I can't. It's okay. We'll do it this way. So I've completed my form and I'm going to submit. So this is part one. So you can change your response here. Um, it's been recorded. If I go to make, when you've actually set this up, you would leave it to run and it would check it once a day perhaps, but I'm just going to run it once now. And it's going to take my new entry. It's going to create a folder. It's going to move the file and it's going to create a record in Airtable. So if I go to Airtable, you can see, so here we got artist name, tutorial DJ, and tutorial at Pete, my Spotify artist, my link to the track, demo status is new, response ID, and submission date. If I click here, this is the track I just uploaded here. And if I go into my Google Drive, if I go to example records, here we go. So here's the folder I just created, Pete Artist, sorry, Tutorial DJ and Tutorial at Pete.com. And inside is the track I just uploaded. So this setup here will continuously run for you. You don't have to do anything. And what you could do is just a further addition. You could have automatic responses. So create a new one of these. You would then have a watch for Airtable and when you change this to refused, Airtable will automatically email the artist back for you. You would have to set it all up. If you want me to do that video, I'll do so. Just let me know. Um, and then you can even have one for accepted. Say, hey, your demo's accepted. We'd love to meet. Please book a Calendly link with me so we can have a meeting. So one for refused, one for consideration, whatever you wish. If you find this video helpful, um, please let me know. If you need any help setting up, I'll quite happily to give you some advice where I can and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.